Hey everyone, I'm Alex, the CEO of Dot. Today I'm excited to talk through some of the changes we're making to our workspace product to make it even easier to collaborate with customers. Let's get going. So as a quick reminder, Doc's workspaces can be used across a variety of different use cases, ranging from sales to customer onboarding to client portals, projects, uh, and more. Now let's get into what's changing with Doc. And so we've completely rebuilt uh, Doc's editor to make it even easier to update. So let's get into a real example here. So I have a simple workspace going with an intro section, little overview and mutual action plan in here. And one of the big things we've changed with Doc are these section buttons. And so when you click, you can add a section anywhere in the workspace. Um, you can pull in, you can have basically free form content in different columns. You can pull in from different templates. Um, you can drop in different embeds from other software platforms. You can add project plans. Uh, different pricing tables and quotes, security profiles, and different things like that. So let's actually start building out this workspace. So I think I'll do a, a freeform content one to start. Um, maybe I will just call this one, you know, our products. Uh, and then I'll give it a little title here, meet new doc, make it a little bit bigger. And then I think for this first one, I'll just drop in a PDF that we have, which is basically to our pitch deck. Um, and so I'll drop that in here. And then one of the, once that's uploaded, it'll display, perfect. And then one of the new things we've added as well are these little insert buttons. And so now it's like really easy to just add different content within doc. Um, and so let's do like maybe an embed, let's do like a Loom video that we have for demo. Uh, let me grab that link over here. You just simply drop it in um, and then that'll display. And let's say I wanna actually rearrange and like swap the order of these two. It's really easy now. All you do is kind of click that uh, and go from there. If I wanted to add, let's say multiple videos in here and change the columns, that's also really easy now. You click this little pencil icon, click two columns, uh, and then you can basically have, let's say, two side-by-side -side videos right here. And so it's really easy to adjust and reformat these different workspaces. I can even, let's say I don't wanna use the videos anymore, I can just remove that block and it's gone from within the workspace. And so we've tried to make it really easy to kind of format you know, your different sections as you're building things. And so I can keep building out this workspace. Let's say I wanna add a pricing quote, I can choose cards or tables. Let's do a pricing table for now. I'll give it a little title, uh, you know, uh, pricing overview. Give this a title. And then I can actually pull in different pricing from a pre-built product library uh, that the admin has. Uh, I can hide different columns, let's say, maybe it's actually for, for 10 people and you know I don't wanna show um, the total column, I'll just show monthly and annual totals. So I can really adjust things um, from there. I can even add in different things from a template. And so I have different company templates set up. Uh, I think I have a good one for um, onboarding. And so I can just drop in these like pre-built building blocks into a workspace. Another new thing that we've added um, is the ability uh, to duplicate sections now. And so you can come in here and let's say I just have phase one, I can actually duplicate phase one to phase two. Um, and then you'll see that in here. And now I can come in here. I don't have to start from scratch every time. I can just do phase two and then make all the different adjustments from there. So it's really easy to kind of update and build your workspace as you get going, as you start to work with customers. You can see how fast I just took this from one section to a bunch. One of the other big changes we've made is separating out the publish and share button. So there's two different buttons for, to take this action. So to publish these changes to, to the customers, all you do, click publish. And now everything you see here will be available in the, the share view with the customer. Right. And so they can come in here, see your slide deck, see your pricing, see what it looks like to get onboarded, so on and so forth. We've also made a big adjustment to the sharing um, process within Doc. And so now when you share within Doc, it feels a little bit more like Google Docs. You can add in specific email addresses if you want. You can even invite them, notify them, send messages, so on and so forth. I'm going to skip that for now. Um, and then we, we sort of streamline the access controls. It's basically the same functionality as before, but presented in a much different way. So we have a, anyone with the link view where you can still get uh, analytics. We have a restricted view where um, we have a bunch of different really high secure options as well. Um, and then the last one is a landing page view, which can be used for many one, one to many uh, different workspace relationships. So we've made great strides to kind of update uh, the workspace. It's something we're really committed to, uh, making sure that it's really easy for 
you know, client managers to update these different workspaces and work with those customers. We're really excited about this new section, Builder Flow. We think it's a great scalable system for us to build from. Um, and thank you so much for listening. We have a lot of exciting updates rolling out in the next couple of weeks. So um, keep on the lookout. Thank you.